a big mistake. If it wasn't for the post office, I'd been out of all that money. This Vietnam War veteran is grateful this holiday season to those who kept him from getting caught up in a scam. Here's what happened. He got a call saying he won a multi-million dollar jackpot and a new car. All he needed to do was send a money order for the taxes on the prize. So he went to the post office. I asked him, did he know who he was sending the blank money order to? And he responded, no, it's for a sweepstakes. They told him to just send it blank. And I told him it wasn't a good idea to send a blank money order to someone that he didn't know. Other clerks who knew the victim heard the story. Experience really dictates uh, a lot of the things that you figure out. You get to learn, uh, you know, the ways of, of just life itself. We were saying it doesn't sound right, you know, something's wrong with this picture, and you know, we said, we were pretty much told him it was a scan, it was a con. We put the brakes on it right there. The post office refunded the money order and realized there was no prize. However, postal inspectors say these con men will not stop with one attempt. Epidemic proportions of seniors being uh, swindled out of their money, and it's affecting seniors that probably have maybe some cognitive decline where they can't recognize that they're making bad financial decisions. Call from Atlantic Fifth and Jake. Atlantic City. Even during our interview, the phone went off repeatedly, announcing different cities. Look at it very, very carefully. But your mind will tell you, no, 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 no. So I don't even answer the phone. Postal inspectors want to encourage adult children to get involved like the clerks at the post office. They were able to see red flags, and that's something that we need people across the country to recognize about their senior relatives. I should have known better. She never get nothing for nothing.